In this video, I'll show you how to configure DaVinci Resolve so it's automatically creating backups of your project as you're working on it, and then how to go and install one of those backups if you find that uh, you, you need to do so. I also created a free PDF for this video. The link will be in the description. You do not have to provide an email address or anything like that. Just open uh, or just click on the link. It'll open up in your browser and then you can go ahead and download it. So DaVinci Resolve 18.6.6 uh, .6 was released about a week ago. It, the update is for the free version and for the studio version, which is um, uh, the professional version of DaVinci Resolve. I would suggest you go and do that if you haven't already done so. So now let me go ahead and show you how to get everything set up. So I've got DaVinci Resolve open. If you haven't installed it yet, or if you've downloaded it and you haven't uh, created a folder, what you want to do is somewhere on one of your drives in your uh, PC or your laptop, create a folder and name it either DaVinci Resolve you can name it whatever you want, but in my case, when I had the free version, I named it DaVinci Resolve, and I think version 18.0 is out, and I just named it that. I've got the studio version now, the, which um, is the professional version, and I just called that uh, uh, DaVinci Resolve Studio. Uh, as of today, the 24th of March, it's still just a one-time $295 fee. There is no subscription. If I say... I use Windows, I'm using Windows 11. If I say Control, if you're using Mac, it's Command. If you're, uh, if I say Alt, it's gonna be Option. To make sure we're looking at the same thing, come up to where it says Workspace, and come down here and select set, Reset UI Layout. You wanna make sure you're in the, the bottom of the screen at the Edit tab. And I will be using the PDF as, uh, as we go along. So what the first thing you want to do is you want to come up to the upper left-hand corner of the screen and select DaVinci Resolve and then come down to Preferences or you can hold Control and the comma key. When this opens up, it may be under uh, Memory and GPU. You, you want to have System selected, come down to Media Storage, and this is the folder that I created on my computer for DaVinci Resolve Studio. Under that, I have folders for all the project files. So if you haven't done this yet, click the Add button, navigate over to whatever drive you want to save this folder to. In this case, I had, I've had i already named it. I already have one with called DaVinci Resolve Studio. You can also just click the New Folder and create the folder and then come down here and select Select Folder and you will have this path in here. Then you want to come over to and select user. You want to be under project save and load. By default, the project backups is not selected. So you want to make sure you select that. Under perform backups every, it'll default will say 10 minutes. I'd suggest setting that to five minutes. That means if something happens, uh, you lose power, DaVinci Resolve crashes, you've only lost five minutes worth of work. You can go ahead and save it if you want, or you can create a preset. But if you look down here where it says um, backup location, so what I did on my um, uh, on an external drive, which is my N drive, I created a folder and I just called it DaVinci Resolve Backup Location. DaVinci Resolve then, after I did that, created this folder called Resolve Project Backups. So you can just create a folder. You can do it on any drive you want. In my case, just personal preference, I created on a, uh, a, an external drive. Once you create it, you can just come over and browse to it, or just like before, you can just create if you haven't created a folder, you can just create the create a new folder and then go ahead and, and select that folder. But um, I'm not going to do that. I don't need this. And then when you're done, you can save it. And once you're done, I would suggest closing 
um, DaVinci Resolve and restarting. If you want to save it as a, a, uh, a preset, come up here to this three dot menu icon, select save user preferences as a preset. You can name it. In my case, I already called it Paul custom preset, and then go ahead and save it. If at some point later you come in here and make some changes, you can just um, select the update preset and then select update and then go ahead and save it. So DaVinci was resolve and I'm going to put up a screenshot will have created five folders on your computer. One will be called dot gallery. Another one will be the, the, the cache or cache clip. Another one is capture. One is proxy media and the other one will be a resolve project backups. And the, uh, in the folder that's the uh, cache clip every once in a while you're going to you'll want to go in there and just delete all those files because they'll just be getting they'll just as you're creating projects they'll just get bigger and bigger and you don't need to, to um, save those that'll, that, that'll just kind of slow everything down so every once in a while just go in there and, and delete all those um, folders when you open a project again uh, create a new one or open a, uh, an existing project it'll just go ahead and um, create recreate those files for you the next thing you want to do is you want to come over to file and come down to uh, project settings or you can just hold shift and the number nine key on your keyboard and then you want to come over to select master settings and then here is where you can um, uh, add your uh, frame rate whatever you want to select um, if you want to create a vertical video for youtube or TikTok, i would suggest at least having 1920 by 1080 and then if you want it to be a vertical video just select use vertical uh, resolution I've got a couple presets here, so let me just select. I'll just load this preset. So now, if I want to record it uh, 30 frames per second, the reason it says 29.97 is because I use Fuji cameras, and that's what I selected. You've got these drop downs, so you can select the different frame rates. Then under scroll down, and then under optimized media. This enable backup caching after it'll say, um, I think it says five or 10 seconds. I would change it to one second. And the reason for that is that whenever you're, uh, you stop working on the project, uh, if you're not editing it, it'll save a, um, um, it'll enable the, the different clips, um, the caching. So it'll be doing work in the background. When, while you're kind of just paused and not doing anything. Under these working folders, this is automatically created when you um, set the, uh, created a folder on your computer. This is where those five folders, um, this is where three of them, it, so that's automatically done. There's nothing that um, you really need to do unless you change the drive where your, um, where your, um, your projects will be. Under capture and playback, you want to come over here and you want to this uh, video capture and playback. You want to set that to whatever is set in the master settings. One thing that's not in the, I didn't put in a PDF because I've made other um, videos about this under fair light. This is the, the uh, uh, loudness level. This is set to minus 23 LUFs, which is loudness units, full scale. The default is set for broadcast television. If you're like me, you're not doing anything like that, only uploading to the internet. You want to change that to minus 14 LUFs. And again, I've made videos in the past about getting the proper loudness level for YouTube and other internet platforms. So you definitely do not want this set at minus 23. You want it set at minus 14. When you're done, you can either come down here and save it, or what I would do, I would just create a preset. If you've already created a preset and made some changes, you can just go ahead and click update preset and then select update and then save it. 
then come back up to the three dot menu icon and select set current settings as default preset and then you can go ahead and close out of this and then the next thing you want to do is if you need to um, load a backup say you've edited your video and there's something you don't like and you want to go back to a, a previous um, version you can either come down here to the lower right hand corner of the screen and select the little house which is the project manager or you can come up to file select project manager or just shift and the number one on your keyboard and then you'll see all your projects so let's say well this is a file that I'm, i want to work on um, the next video is for smooth playback just select whatever project you're working on right mouse click come down here to where it says project backups and it will show you all the backups that it's created and it'll also have the date and the time with the most recent one being at the top so as time goes on you can just select one of them or more and then you can just select de uh, delete to get rid of them and just keep the most recent ones um, or you can delete all of them if you're done with the with the project. So that's it. That's all you need to do um, to create um, backups and then go ahead and, and reload a uh, install a backup of your file. So I again there's a there's a free PDF. Go ahead and download that. And um, I hope this helped you out. And thanks for watching.